Okay, so I refuse to play any more of the main campaign missions because it is horrid. It is shit. Like, what the fuck? How did the game pass its tests, its bug tests, its QA? It's awful. It's dreadful. God. So let's try out something else. <laughs> Maybe the multiplayer and the challenges could make up for how awful the campaign is so far. I mean, I will continue the campaign at a later date, but so far, holy hell, it is bad. Jesus. So we got downloadable missions, Hunt the Grey Wolf. Um, I think this was um, the Hitler mission. So let's try it out. Hitler mission, yes. You will never ever hear that ever. Hitler mission. I can't wait to play the Hitler mission. I'm not the Thompson, so I'll use that, I guess. Apparently there are no new weapons in this game at all. None. Like, zero. To me, it feels like a complete cash-in so far. It's like, we made Sniper Elite 2, um, so let's just copy and paste that game but just set it in Africa, and that's it. It's just a different location, which I guess kind of is alright, but like the levels are, they're good levels, but the objectives you do are just all the same. It's like blow up three, blow up three artillery things, blow up another three artillery things, kill three uh, uh, generals and collect their data. It's like, that's all it is so far. So let's try this mission out, I guess. And the missions are way too effing long. There is a... You can have missions that are too long, you know? Well, if only you could do that in the game. And apparently, his BPM didn't go up. His BPM didn't go up. Yeah. Beats per minute didn't go up, apparently, somehow. The game looks nice, I guess. But it looks ex it looks exactly the same as Sniper Elite 2. And the annoying thing is, is that there's the area is really cool, but you the your movement system is so limited that you can bear you can't get around you can't get around this area in a cool way. It looks open, but it's really just kind of like a corridor. In a way, that's a bit open. And if you want to actually... What, what also really annoys me is that sniping in this game is basically punished. Because if you snipe, you will probably alert the guards. And it's so easy to do stealth in this game, it's a joke. And I... It's just ridiculous. It's like, if you snipe, you are punished for sniping because you all the guards will be alerted. You will die. But doing it stealthily is incredibly easy because the AI is the stupidest freaking AI I think I've ever seen in my life. I think I have a grenade. That I'm just going to throw. No, do I have a grenade? No. Okay. Yeah. As you might be able to tell... Your stealth movement speed is ridiculously slow. So another problem is you have a rock. You can throw a rock. You know, like the normal standard stealth thing. You can throw a rock to distract guards. You throw the rock. By the time he's gone to the rock, and he's already turned around by the time before you can even get to him because you're so slow. So it's completely useless to throw a rock. Okay. So. Be cool if I could line up a double shot. I'm, I'm screwed. I mean, they basically just traded in the city. I don't, I've never played Sniper League 2, I, but I do know like the first mission is like in a town city thing. They basically traded that for desert, and that's it. 
Other than that, it's exactly the same. It also doesn't help is that your enemies are insanely accurate with guns that are really inaccurate. Also, the save system is shit. There is no... You basically have to save yourself, otherwise you will be going back to the beginning of the mission quite a lot. Which is brilliant. Also, the controls are shite. Really fiddly controls. The cover system is terrible. Basically, there is no cover system. There is just a automatic cover system. It doesn't fucking work properly. 99% of the fucking time. This is brilliant. This is brilliant. This is brilliant, you know. Thank God I bought this game for 24 quid and not the 40 quid they're selling it for. Fucking idiots. So you think, I'm getting cover here? Can I look to this side? No, the cover system doesn't work properly. Obviously, you cover your shots with the sounds of uh, artillery fly fire, planes flying over by. There you go. And the thing is, is those those bullet time, you know, the bullet kill cam things. They're exactly the same from Sniper Elite 2. And they got really boring in Sniper Elite 2. And guess what? They get really boring here. Because they might as well just all be the same. They didn't make it look any cooler. It's exactly the same. And the problem is it takes so long to do anything in this game. Just to freaking move up takes forever. The first, the second mission took me an hour. I was literally bored to tears during that mission. I was like, oh my god. Will the mission end? Oh my god. I need to tell the guns are ridiculously inaccurate. Or I just have awful aiming. I think there's a bit of both in that. Also, for some reason, this soldier went into World War II with only freaking 16 pistol bullets. How did you see me? The AI is either incredibly stupid or incredibly hyper aware. So I can see you from 5,000 miles away, or you are literally right in front of me and I cannot see you. Basically, you got that relocate system from Bentacell. So, so you have your like, you have your like silhouette that they can see. Look, the silhouette, my silhouette's over there. Silhouette, silhouette. Yep, great. 
Also, sometimes enemies don't die from headshots, like you saw there. And guess what? Guess what? I've been put back here. Okay. At least I've been put back here. But a long way away. That took like five minutes just to get back, just to get to there. As you can see, sometimes they die, sometimes they don't, from one shot. Might help the sniping was any good, you know. In a sniping game, I would say the sniping in Ghost Warrior is better. Which is fucking saying something, because that game is dreadful. Also, there was a huge delay on sometimes when you shoot, try to shoot your bullets. You press the press the mouse button. Some this won't go off. How did this game pass testing? It is just bad. I wouldn't mind the saving system if you could quick save, but you can't quick save, not that I'm aware of. Does this look fun to you? Because it's not. It's fucking not fun. It's not fun at all. And I love this shit normally. But even this is fucking awful. To me. I love waiting around for ages normally. But this? No. No. Just a no. I can't believe IG, well, IG, I guess it is IGN. IGN, it, IGN was like 8.2. You know, great. The only thing that's really bad about it is the stupid AI. There's more than a freaking. Like, there's more than just that that's bad to the game. Blech. More than that is just stupid. There are a lot of things that are stupid in this game. Look now, everyone knows where I am. Well, they know where that came from. So, like, sniping is completely discouraged. Because if you snipe, you just alert everyone. Look, everyone. Yeah. It doesn't help that the... The shooting with the machine guns, some machine guns, is even worse than shooting with the sniper rifle. It's just not good. You can clearly tell it's never designed to be played with a machine gun, and it's just awful. Also, the interface is fucking awful. It's a pain in the ass just to switch to anything. It's really clumsy. Did I mention the game has no regenerating health? Yeah, because they were f stupid. There's a reason we don't do regenerating health anymore. 
we do well no it's a, there's a reason we don't do non regenerating health anymore i said that wrong cuz it's fucking awful it doesn't work properly anymore it worked in the old days cuz there was health packs everywhere not in a fucking game like this there isn't so basically every 2 seconds you want to save Because sometimes you die in one hit. Sometimes. Sometimes you don't. I love how a bullet to the head doesn't kill you. Armor piercing rounds unlocked. Wow. You know, that might be helpful. Like, now. Also, also, another fucking annoying thing that I'm going to choke every developer who doesn't put this in their game again. Make it so I can swap shoulders, for Christ's truth, man. This is like basic level third person shooting. Like, a teenager could work that out. It's like, you need to be able to swap Fucking so shoulders, shoulders. I can't say that word properly. Shoulders. You need to be able to swap shoulders. Stop not putting that in your game, for Christ's sake. It's really fucking annoying. Yeah, because... How the fuck did he see me? I'm completely in darkness. You would not see me. How did that not kill him? Oh my god. Basically, I can't use my sniper rifle at all. In a game called Sniper Fucking Elite. Because if I do, I will be spotted instant fucking tainiously. Like, this may be cool. This may be, this bit here, this may be cool the first fucking time. Not the hundred thousand fucking time. And then everyone knows where you are and has the best fucking accuracy ever. I'm saving. I can't save. Okay. Maybe you can't save when you're not... But the first mission was really good. Because I thought... Because the first mission was actually... It was actually really good. You know. I should try to stay quiet. Don't want to raise hell too... Because the first mission started off with like, kind of like a scripted scene, but then after that there was an open bit, and then back to a scripted scene. That re that flowed really well. Now it's just sandbox levels that are really bad. That's all the game is, is sandbox levels, where you have to basically take down three things, and that's it. That's it. And it's dreadful. Well, at least I got a Lee Enfield, I guess. 
keep in mind, in a fucking game called Sniper Elite, there is four sniper rifles. Four. I'm not shitting you. Four. That's it. Four. Guess how many submachine guns there are. Four. There are the same amount of submachine guns in a game called Sniper Elite. What the fuck? There are three pistols as well. Like, what the fuck? How can you have the same amount of submachine guns as snipers in a game called Sniper Elite? That's just ridiculous. Yeah, uh, also, there are two other pistols, but they're completely useless. Also, your guy is super effing slow at climbing down ladders. So that happens a lot. I could have sw sworn Hitler was in Berlin Army in the First World War. Yeah. This game feels like a budget title sold for 40 fucking quid on PC. It's not even 30 quid. I will, I, will, I, will, I will say it runs perfectly fine at max settings, apart from like one, like uber sampling, I think it is. That's off. But other than that, everything's on max settings. Like if you think now I'm in the shadows, you wouldn't see me because you can see me. And you can't jump as well, other than those press spaces to climb up things. Which are just... Fucking awful, and I want them to die in every video game ever. Wow. You also have these sniper nests that you can unlock, which are kind of like mini collectible things, which are completely useless because. You can snipe from anywhere, and there's no advantage to sniping at those sniper nests. And as you can see, I can't fucking shoot him because there's no proper cover system in this game, so I can't look over. I feel like this could have been like a DLC or like an expansion pack to Sniper Elite 2. Like an Africa expansion pack. That's what it could have been. 
Also, you'll, you'll, you'll fall off a lot of stuff and die instantaneously. Because your guy will literally take... Take so much damage. Take so much full damage for some reason. I don't know why that is. Sometimes he takes full damage. Other times he doesn't seem to care. Cannot see me. Sometimes they can see you. Other times they can't. Crazy. It's almost like they didn't test their own game. I mean that that'd be crazy, right? Uh hi, um, uh, oh, hello. Also, there's a, a melee thing, which is terrible. Uh, also, there there's no fucking story. <laughs> there is literally no... There is a story, but there's no fucking story. There might as well not be a story. It's just an excuse for you to blow up three freaking artillery things over and over and over and over fucking again. And like kill certain officers, and that's it. It might as well be like a challenge DLC where you have to kill eight officers or something like that. I don't know how many officers there are in the campaign. What pisses me off, right, is there was a cover system in Sniper Elite 2, and they took it fucking out. For, like, no reason. They took it out. Also, you never get... It's like, you can loot bodies, but you never get anything you actually need from the body. It's like, I need freaking pistol bullets because my guy only carries fucking ten into fucking battle. Stop making bad games. Let's observe that guy, apparently. I love how it said observe, which makes you think we're supposed to like eavesdrop on him, but no. No, you're just supposed to kill him. So instead of saying kill, it just says observe. I don't understand. Blah 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 You know. There is literally like the voice actor who does this guy, there's like might as well be like two lines of voice acting per mission for your character. So it's not like he has much dialogue, so it would have been nice if he could maybe read those letters out. And I'm dead. Fuck me. Fuck this fucking game. It is fucking horrendous. Do not fucking play it. Do not buy it. Do not play it. Don't even look at it. 
God damn it. Fuck shit. Stop making bad games. Stop making bad games. Now I want to be good. I could have bought Grid. But I wasn't going to buy that because the freaking cockpit view in that game is dreadful. That's why I'm not buying that. Hi. I'm a really, really, really um, effective pistol. But I only carry 16 bullets into battle because I want to handicap myself because I'm a fucking idiot. <laughs> It's like, yeah, I have this really effective pistol, but I'm only going to carry 16 bullets into battle. Yeah, because, you know, hmm. So basically, there's no fucking way I can do anything here. I can throw a rock. Which is completely pointless. It's like, it, it takes them for fucking ever to go over to it. It's like, oh, we're just going to look at it. For like five fucking hours. And then they're going to be like, oh no, it's not even bother. Just go over there. What's the point in the rock if it doesn't fucking work? And the, like I said, the problem is, is that you, your character moves so slow by the time that like they've, already, they've already got to the rock. See, it's completely fucking useless because your character's so fucking slow. So you can't get to them in time to fucking take them down. You might as well run up to him. What the fuck? Feels like I'm playing quick scoping Call of Duty. What the fuck is this? It's fucking awful. Don't buy it. Save your money. That's something. Save. Buy Plants vs Zombies on PC. It's way better. I just went through him. That happens a lot. I, li I like, all right, right. If you watch my video before this, I, I could, I could f go through a tank. I could go through a tank. Like I could literally f go through a tank. And it wasn't like it was a difficult to do. I literally just could go through the tank. They didn't put a freaking clipping thing on it. Clipping thing? No, like note clip thing on it. Whatever you call it. Oh wow, <laughs> my sniper can apparently shoot through walls, literally. What the fuck is going on? I don't know. I don't want to know. I don't know anymore. Is there someone below or someone? Oh, so he's there. Low on ammunition. You're low on ammunition because I only carried 60 fucking submachine gun bullets into battle. Oh, but it's okay because I'll carry a hundred sniper bullets. Because I really need that. Because you never fucking use it half the time. Stop. Stop. This is the worst game I played this year. By a mile. Like there's no way. It just, there's just no way this past testing. I just don't believe it. It's just not good. It's bad. It's very bad. Don't play it. Play it. Play, 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 play it. <sighs> I'm going to do Lally. This game is literally making me insane because it's that bad. <sighs> What's funny was, right, so basically in the second mission, at the end of the mission, at the end of the 50 fucking minute mission, by the way, whoa, it was like set up an ambush point for the officer. It literally took about 30 seconds to to do that that 50 minute build up for 30 seconds of assassinating that guy of ambushing him and assassinate him and that's it and that was fucking it and that was fucking it I didn't even kill him with a sniper rifle I killed him with a landmine Good enough time to prepare for his arrival
The menus suck as well. Just, oh, just don't. I mean, that's obviously designed for console, which is fine. That works really well on console. But it doesn't work well for PC. So make a different freaking interface for the PC. It's not like it's difficult. Make a proper interface for PC, goddammit. Higher elevation, closer to target. Uh, let's go for higher elevation, I guess. I will say one thing, animations are really good. And that's about it. I will say there's a lot of content, because the levels are like 5,000 hours long. Each. Hey, I'm Hitler. Hi. I've never killed Hitler before. This'll be fun. Hi, Hitler. You can die now. There he is. Where? Over there? What? What am I supposed to do? Why does it say kill? Why does it say fucking kill over there? Was this game tested? Ever. Fucking ever. Oh my god. I can't, I can't, I can't even look at him. I can't, I can't fucking look at him. There we go. There we go, good. What? What's happening? Can I shoot him? Hmm. Can I shoot him? What's happening? What's happening? Kill him? Okay. No, oh, fuck it. Ta da! I shot him. I didn't even get a fucking kill cam. I didn't even get a fucking kill cam for killing fucking Hitler. This game is fucking terrible. <laughs> this is just dreadful. Did I kill the real Hitler that night? The entire lockdown suggests that I did. Then again, history might disagree. That was it. That was, that was, that was fucking it. That was it. That was it. That was the fucking story for that mission. Two lines of fucking dialogue. That kind of turned into like a mini review of the game. Not really a review. First impressions. Terrible first impressions. It's fucking awful. It's fucking awful. Don't buy it. Do not play it. Do not buy it. It's, ter it's terrible. Just don't fucking play it. Just don't fucking play it. Just don't buy it. Just don't fucking buy it. Buy Sniper Elite 2. It's probably better. But I don't know. I don't know. I haven't played Sniper Elite 2. God damn it. God damn it. I didn't even get... A Fucking kill cam for him.